<laughs> this is um, Avondale. Now, this, this is a very difficult drawing to read from where you're at because it's not um, hatched in, so you know, can't see the figure ground. But it is the core of Avondale. This is Redding Road. This is uh, Forest Hills Rockdale. This is uh, Rockdale, which was cul de sac some years ago when the Avondale Town Center was put in. The Avondale Town Center is a single story um, strip retail center. This is all asphalt parking right now. There are two outbox uh, retailers. One is a Burger King and one is a uh, um, checks and cash. You should all just get up here and get this better. <laughs> <laughs> but th this is a wonderful, wonderful church. Uh, and in fact, uh, the, the church is part owner of this developer of the uh, Avondale Town Center. It's also a beautiful church here and a nice old apartment building here, although it has seen better days. We have to know there's a developer who's going to rehabilitate this, this church right now. And then this is the dollar store. Again, it's retail, set back in the street uh, with an asphalt lot. So the well, first thing we wanted to do, uh, we, we recognize that the Avondale Town Center, though it might not be the prettiest thing in the world, is, is, is viable economically. It's, it's making the owner money. So we have to respect that. But we also know that there's a great deal that's wrong with you from Avondale right now. Avondale has a lot of pedestrians, but it's not pedestrian from Reading Road, if you've ever walked down there, uh, the cars and the buses are zooming by. It's, it's five lanes, I believe, two travel lanes and a center left lane. So we believe, it's not detailed here, but we believe that we need to control the traffic, slow the traffic down from at least here to here so that this can become a pedestrian friendly place once again. And that means dedicated parallel parking both sides that does not go away during rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that means dedicated parallel parking. That she doesn't have tomatoes or anything hard, does she? <laughs> she has a lot of challenges. <laughs> Opportunities. So but, but we really, really believe that on-street parking is a, the best friend to the urban retail. Ed, what's the number that you like to throw out with the uh, $240,000 of, of one parking space on street in front of a shop of a retailer is worth $200,000 to $240,000 in annual savings. So when we do things like take away parallel parking on streets, we really put our local um, small retailers at a, a competitive disadvantage. So we want to put that back. We also when, when you do detail these intersections right with the on street parking, it doesn't go away. You can do bump outs, and that makes a, uh, a nearly uncrossable 52 or 60 foot wide street into something more like a 40 foot wide street, which is very, very helpful, especially to older folks and younger folks who, who aren't as fast as, as those of us who can sprint across the road. So, the other thing we want to do, want the story, is we want to connect. We want to reconnect this cul-de-sac street on the clock there. Now, we, we did notice that when this was cul-de-sac, before this was cul-de-sac, there was a great old firehouse here. But when it became cul-de-sac, they actually had to build a new firehouse right there. Because the fire trucks just can't, just can't get through a cul-de-sac street that needs to get We want to reverse that. We think that's a mistake. We want to reverse that and build this street back through. That will give us the opportunity to do a number of things. We want to do a building here on this site here. That makes this a five-point intersection, which I, I, I know there are different traffic difficulties with five-point intersections, but if you go to other cities, read this one where we've got they're the, the most special intersections there. That's, the traffic does slow down there, but they're also the coolest buildings. And one of the coolest building types you can do is a triangular-shaped building. And then and developers will build, build them. We designed one about five, six years ago in Deerfield, uh, um, Deerfield Township. And it, and it was fully, or, uh, uh, before it was finished with construction, it was a speculative building. A business owner came in and leased 80% of that building just because it was a special building. And it wasn't like all the rest of the spur of the yet. The next thing we want to do is we want to put a building right at the front corner of the Avondale Town Center site. This would end and build a, a square, an urban group, with, with public streets going around it, with, with on street parking. Now, this is sort of preparation for the future. So with this building that's up on Redding Road and this building that's on uh, Forest, hopefully we have enough economic engine going to make a, a bolder move of 
moving the Avondale Town Center here and putting something else back. But what this is, we've been told after working for, with Avondale for a, a couple months now that there is a, a strong desire to have an urban grocery there. And we know we're not going to have a 125,000 square foot grocery store, superstore there. But we think we can get, we might be able to get a 30,000 square foot grocery store. So that's what this footplate is. If we plan for it, we can do it. But it's not just a one-story building. You can rivet the front of it and have a three- or four-story uh, building on the front of it so that this green, this this urban center or gathering place here, gets it closed like a room, like a, like a good outdoor room should be, so that there are windows on it and therefore eyes on it. So it feels like a comfortable environment. And then we're also bringing uh, Bogart Street through back again, because again, walkable neighborhoods have a lot of street connectivity and sidewalk connectivity, so we want to reinforce that. And we're also bringing this, this is currently a driveway, we want to make this a street and connect this to Bogart. So we want to put as many streets in as we possibly can. And we've done just a very, very preliminary sketch up model of what that might look like at full, but oh, and the other thing is we want to, we want to take the family dollar store down <laughs> and rebuild it up on the street too. I mean, to resurrect that street corridor, a walkable street corridor of Reddit Road, and they can still have just as much parking. It just needs to go behind the building. So that's our our first shot at what Avenue will look at at full building.